Monday, Monday afternoon, we came in. We all came in, simple work, clean up, so on and so forth, checked that everything was secured, everything was good, battened down the hatches, and all we had was rain. Rain, 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 that's all we had. Monday afternoon was all rain, and the rain was just so little. I mean, it was virtually no rain. It was just constantly just coming down in light drips, and it was just didn't even pull up anywhere. It was just kept raining all day, and no one really got wet, so we were all happy. We all said, hey, nothing's going to happen. Well, something did happen. Here, a live view of Hurricane Sandy as the International Space Station flies above it, uh, about 260 miles above the Atlantic Ocean. The National Weather Service's 10 a.m. update uh, Sandy had sustained winds of 90 miles an hour and was moving north northwest at 18 miles an hour. By the time it makes landfall, it's expected to change from a hurricane into a frontal or a wintertime low pressure system, according to the National Weather Service.
wiped out by fire and we rose. We were wiped out by flood and we will rise again. See you next spring. storm happened on a Monday. Tuesday we were back in the building and it was like a total disaster. I remember walking in and was like, oh, I could not believe this actually happened to us. Uh, there was no power. We worked on flashlights. We walked around, slid, slip, slide and slid all over the mud. That day I came in, I almost said to myself, that's it. It's time to wrap it up. There's really virtually no reason to reopen. Even within the next two weeks after the event, I really was unsure. Virtually 30 to 40 days, I was just unsure. Uh, the power actually came back on. The grid came back on two days, two days after Tuesday. It was a Thursday, and it was just such an interesting story because we were busy working on things, and all of a sudden it was like, a miracle, the lights just popped right back on, and the alarm started blaring away. The El Dorado Auto Scooter has been in operation for 40 years. Prior to the storm, we had 36 cars in operation at El Dorado. Based on the storm, unfortunately, the cars were affected by the storm. However, the cars we were able to dismantle clean, redo, replace bearings, replace virtually everything, rebuild, and put back together. The big part, or unfortunate, the, the larger amount of devastation and damage occurred over in the game room instead, where virtually every game that we own is made out of press wood. Upon being affected by the water, the water just destroyed them, disintegrated, destroyed them. Uh, Rebuilding them is virtually impossible because the cabinets, once they fall apart, can't be replaced or rebuilt. And I hate to say that even with the sound system, Scott Fitland did such a marvelous job at maintaining and creating that Eldorado sound that everyone will never forget. Unfortunately, the storm did do its toll upon the system here. I would say approximately 40% of Scott's work has been destroyed by the storm and that we're working diligently at replacing it. There's no way possible I will ever achieve the same sound quality he had, but I'll do the best I can in his memory to bring that up to par. This business is obviously going to need revenue to pay for the damages and to recoup all losses. But like I said, it's been cabin fever for all of us. There is a major difference if you open the doors and let people come in instead of staying locked up in here working. Even the guys, even the employees, they will feel 100% better once they see some sort of traffic coming in. It's so important to get the gates open, not just only to let the general public know that we're here, but just for ourselves, to let us know our sense of accomplishment and what we've done. Everything that we've done and how all the guys worked very hard at putting the place together.
take post. Stronger than ever. 2013. One in charge. Going one way. One. Yes. We're back, right? We're out. We're out. say that it was very good that all the business owners all banded together like a little brotherhood that we all actually worked together to help each other get up to business we shared our equipment we shared our repair items we did whatever we had to do to help each other get open because it's important that the whole area is open not just one business very important that we all banded together to get Coney Island open 